much for that camera lasting all day. <laughs> the camera died on me. Wow. That was really quick. I didn't realize how dead it actually was. Don't worry. I have a backup camera. That's why you might see me drive and like almost never look back when I'm backing up just because I have the camera. But I always look and make sure because for some reason I have trust issues with my car. Um, <laughs> so we'll see about Comic Con is basically what I was getting at. So we are off to the flea market. I just stopped at my mom's and I freaking I get her stroller. I'm packing it up, ready to put it in my trunk, open my trunk, and there's my stroller. Because I was wondering, okay, well, I assumed I didn't have it because, like I said, yesterday was my last day at work. So I left, um, me and TJ ran a bunch of errands yesterday, just a recap very briefly. Um, we went to one of our favorite restaurants for lunch, which is kind of far away, so we kind of treated ourselves out there. Um, we used to have one... Um, right in this town but they ended up moving and that was the closest place so we went there for lunch and um, we went to the mall because my phone was acting up because I actually dropped it in a pool um, so it was acting up a little bit but now it like literally fixed itself when I walked into the Verizon Center it was so weird so anyway so my phone is working pretty well again um, so we had gone to the mall and I had packed my stroller in my husband's car because we also needed to go to the dry cleaners and he had the most room in his car so I put my stroller in the bed of his truck and I'm like alright well if we put the stroller in the bed of his truck and we never put it we didn't put it back in my car before I left from to work I was at work from 3 till about 9 so how would he get and I know when I got home, he didn't put it in my car. So I'm like, how did he get, what, how would he get in my car? So that's why I was doubting it so much. But he did stop at my work to pick up the debit card because I had to get gas. So he came and picked up the card. Um, and he must have done it there. Otherwise, there's really no explanation. So whatever. It was a, uh, hi, hi. Hey, how are you? I wish I could tighten you, but I'm driving. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Where the thing hold on I'm gonna try to tighten that's much better I had to take the whole GPS uh, holder off my window and tighten it um what the heck was I even saying I don't even remember anymore um, I do need to get well actually I have an Express gift card in my bag so I figured at some point today maybe we can go to the mall because I saw a necklace I saw at Express I don't know how much it was actually but I think the gift card is for maybe $30 and I know it's an expensive store but there's always stuff on clearance so maybe I can find something um, but I saw that Too Faced um, when we went to the mall a while ago this wasn't really recent but they had restocked um, the Too Faced display with new products like a bunch of their blushes and the sweetheart palette or that love palette whatever it's called um so I wanted to look at some of the blushes I was looking at some swatches and I like them I want to give the blushes a try um but at the same time I really need to buy new extensions because my extensions are getting really really ratty and once they get like that I don't even bother to try to save them I just end up buying a whole new set um but sets are expensive they're like I think 130 dollars for 28 inches so um I wanted to save up for that which I mean it only take me like two paychecks because I really don't get much <laughs> um, but at the same time I want to check out Too Faced so I'm like makeup or hair I really need new hair as weird as that sounds I really need new hair extensions they're just getting really bad that's why I'm wearing my hair up a lot because it's really hard to style them now and make them actually look like healthy you know but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm actually taking 30 bucks with me to uh, the flea market. That's why I had to go to the bank because I needed cash. Because I don't think really, uh, one, I lost my debit card. No idea where it is. Uh, yeah, it's 30 bucks. Happy Valley. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is like the most money I've had on me in a long time. <laughs> Um, but I don't know, I'm thinking about like what, what am I specifically looking for at the flea market? Now, every time I go to the flea market, I always find something that just appeals to me. It's not necessarily something I go there looking for. I just always tend to find it. Oh, what's the quickest way there? Okay, I know. 
Um, I always tend to find something. I actually found, um, I believe you see it in the back of some of my videos, not the vloggy videos, but like my sit down videos. Um, that nail polish rack in the back, it's like a wrought iron, iron nail polish rack. I think I got it for like 15 bucks at the flea market, maybe even cheaper. Um, but I love wrought iron stuff and there's always stuff there. And I'm going to be looking to redecorate my kitchen. I'm excited because we got new electricians in yet universe is literally against me vlogging right now. <laughs> I've been cut off so many times and then the camera died and now my phone was full. But that's my fault because I constantly forget to delete vlogs. But what I was saying is I don't really know what I'm going there looking for but I'm sure I find movies. There's always like a movie for two dollars so I always love expanding our DVD collection. I'm looking for a DVD holder. Um, anything to redecorate the kitchen with. Just, I don't know. We'll see what, I, I might come back with nothing. I might come back with a whole lot. Well, 30 bucks ain't really going to get me that far. <laughs> but they always have a lot of furniture. Seriously, if you, hi son. Hey, by the way, I'm in the video too. I didn't know if you could see me because of the sun, but <laughs> um, 30 bucks isn't really going to get me very far, but we'll see. Maybe I'll find something for Ella. You never, ever, ever know. But I love going to the flea market during the summer. And I don't think I've been yet this summer. Maybe once, but I think that's it. I don't know why. I think it's because, like, every weekend I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go. And then I forget that it's a weekend. And I'm like, Monday, flea market, no. <laughs> Literally, that's how I wake up every Monday. So, just in case you were curious. <laughs> but, all right, I'm going to go because I've been ranting on far too long already it's really weird um so I went to the flea market and like nobody's there and I don't know if I'm just too early it's 904 now which the flea market people get there at like five but maybe it's because it's the beginning of the weekend everybody kind of gets there later and then like on Saturday and Sunday they're there really early I don't know um but Ella's passed out in the car and um get your boat out of the road um, <laughs> she's passed out in the car. Um, so I guess we're just gonna head home and I'm gonna give her some breakfast because I packed a yogurt so she could eat it while we walked around. Um, so I guess I'll just go home and give her some yogurt and I don't know. I don't know, maybe we'll go to Express first, like wait till the mall opens, go to Express and then the flea market just to give them like plenty of time. I don't know. There were a couple cars there, but I think there was only like one tent actually set up. So I don't know. I don't know how the flea market works. To be honest, I usually go Saturday mornings, um, but like not till like 11. So today is Friday at nine. So maybe it's a little different. I don't know. There are people working in the kitchen. Hey, baby. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. Once again, change in plans. We are just going to skip the um, flea market today. I don't even know. Like, I didn't go and check up on it or anything. But I got the okay from a babysitter for tomorrow. So, um, I'll be able to go to Comic-Con. The matter is with who? I gotta wet this to make it stick. With who? Um, my friend still hasn't gotten back to me yet if she's gonna be busy or not. But I know for sure two of my cousins are going. So if I don't hear from them, I mean, either way, I'm going to see my cousins there, but if I don't hear from them, then I can ask to just kind of go with them, and then we can just kind of do our thing once we get there. So, with that being said, either way, I'm going to go. So, I need to save 50 bucks for a ticket. So, right now, um, I, I loved my Laura Croft costume from uh, two years ago. It was like the new Laura Croft, not the old Laura Croft. But I need some props for it. I have the shirt. I have the socks, the boots. I need, I, I need the pants. I know I had a pair of pants, but I don't know where they went since. And I need to make a new Laura Croft necklace. So I, I know I have the clay for it. I know I have 
the paint to paint it, but I have to get the string and the clasp the same way I made it last year. Um, and I gotta look, when she goes down for bed, I'm gonna look for the fake gun that I use, the, fake, the hol holster, the um, bow, like all of that stuff, because that, that's nothing I wanna buy. So I'm gonna try to get the costume together. So either way, I'm gonna go to Comic-Con next year, which is really, uh, tomorrow, which is really, really exciting. Um, the matter is just with whom. So you just wait for, um, the, that vlog will be up Sunday. So Sunday, check out that vlog because that will be a lot of fun. And you know what? It, I think it's going to be a really good way to promote my channel as well because, you know, like I'm going to be vlogging there and every time I vlog, people have questions. They're like, oh, like, what are you doing? Are you filming? They're curious about it. So I tell them, I'm like, I vlog on YouTube and they always ask for my username. So I'm gonna make sure that I have like a pad and pen so I can write down my name for them. I don't know, I, just, I don't have any business cards or anything. So hopefully that'll introduce some more of you guys to my channel. Um, but it should be a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited. I actually want to message um, a while ago for those of you that have been around since the beginning, which there aren't many of you, but I used to do a gaming podcast. I was a guest a couple times, but it was tough because I had to run to work and I had to leave early a lot. It was just, it was hard to um, stay consistent with. And it was hard to keep up because I tried to keep up with the, the new games coming out, the new news coming out. It was just, it was tough. Um, and it wasn't something I was like super passionate about either. You know what I mean? So, but anyways, he had a panel there a couple of years ago and he actually found me through my, uh, video I put up a couple years ago saying it was like Boston Comic Con or whatever. Um, it was my video. So he found me through that video to introduce me to the gaming podcast. So anyways, I don't know if he's going to be there this year, but I'd love to get to meet them in person. I've never met them in person. Like we went to Boston Comic Con a couple years ago together, but I didn't like know him. So we're heading to what boo? We're heading to Salvation Army right now. That's where I got my pants last year. They're just like camo pants. Not even camo pants, uh, khaki pants, I'm sorry. But I wanna get like, um, I actually have to look up a picture of her. I think they're tan. I think they're just regular khakis, but I'm gonna make sure. And I have to go to the party store to get um, uh, makeup because she's dirty. So like, you know, dirt and um, blood stains. Oh, and I have to get gauze wrap. I need to write this down. I'm gonna use my phone to write that down real quick. So I just went to Michael's and the party store. Both were a success. Oh, and um, uh, <laughs> Salvation Army. I got a pair of pants. Um, and it's okay. I think they might be a little too small around the waist, but we'll figure it out. They're a size two, and I wear three, so I don't, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so we went to Salvation Army. We got. Um, we got the stuff to make the necklace. I just have to, when we go home, she's gonna go down for a nap. So I'm gonna make the pendant that she wears. You can Google it. It's like a circular, like weird looking thing. So I'm gonna remake that. I made that a couple years ago, super easy, but I got the string I need for it and I got the clasps that I need for it. Um, I have the paint and everything. So that was a success at Michael's. And then I went to the party store where I got some face makeup because I'll need a little bit to, like she has a couple cuts here and there, especially on the nose. Shoot, I should have got scar wax while it's there. Oh well. Um, yeah, she has like a little cut on her nose and just like a few little detail pieces. So I got, um, oh shoot, I forgot fake blood too. Oh my goodness. Maybe I have some. I don't know. If not, I can always go back out. But um, I have like a box of Halloween stuff at home. But I just wasn't sure if I had the face makeup or not. So I don't know. But um, I'll show you all of that after my trip to the mall. Because I want to show you guys um, if I get a piece of jewelry at Express as well. So I just want to kind of put it all together. I'm also going to grab lunch while we're here. Probably just something super quick. I'm starving and I know I don't really have much at home and they're working in my home, which you saw a quick clip of. Um, 
they're working in my kitchen, so it's not like I can really, I want to kind of stay out of their way, so I'd rather just bring something home, so successful day yeah I'm really excited tomorrow she's gonna be picked up at 9 I still haven't heard from my friend so I'm gonna send a quick text to my cousin to see if we can make like driving arrangements like if I can meet them at his house and he just drive us all up and stuff I still got to purchase my ticket lots to do but I'm so excited I'm a little bummed out because I'll only have like 10 bucks to spend at comic-con but last time I went I didn't spend anything but I was kind of hoping to get a souvenir this year I don't know, maybe I will, we'll see. Really quick, okay, so we just got to the mall. I was thinking about this while driving and I forgot to mention it. Um, would you guys enjoy, like obviously I'm gonna vlog Comic Con, but I also wanted to show how I got ready, like a get ready with me Laura Croft edition, but I didn't wanna combine the vlog and that cause then it would be way too long of a video, but would you guys enjoy like uh, the regular vlog, but then a separate video that's like get ready with me, the Laura Croft thing. It can be kind of like a talky get ready with me. Um, I'm gonna film it anyways, um, just to make sure I have it. But if you guys wanna see it, I'll be more than happy to put that up. I'll probably put that up the same day as that vlog so yeah just let me know what you think about that this has literally got to be the worst day possible to decide to wear a flowy skirt anywho so I went I'll show you briefly what I got today so at Michael's I showed you a quick clip of them but this was the string I was going to use it's kind of like a felt brown string and then these are the circles one's going to go on the pennant one's going to go on one side of the string and then the clasp so that's what I got for the necklace and then uh, da, 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 da. the party store I got these they're like crayon face face paint things so it's easier to apply I don't need a lot of uh, brushes and then these are the pants that I got at the Salvation Army so I'm just gonna dirty them up they're just like khakis I wanted the pockets on the side as well so and they're rolled up which is okay because I'll be wearing socks with boots anywho so those are very similar to the ones that I've worn before and then at Express um, it was between a pair of earrings or sunglasses but I really need sunglasses so I went with I went with the sunglasses which Am I a child? Probably. <laughs> I know she's tired though, but I gotta get I gotta get these sunglasses on. Leave me alone. Okay, I'll see you at home. I opened my Coke and it exploded everywhere, like all over the side of my car, all on my skirt. You can't really see it, but my legs are sticky. Everything is sticky. Mom's now. Um, I'm actually heating up some lunch. Where the heck did my Coke go? Um, because I brought Ella home to put her down for a nap before we head over to my mother-in-law's and go swimming. But the, uh, electricians are still there. So there's a lot of banging going on. So there's no way that she's going to be able to sleep through that. So my mom has a porter crib always set up. So I brought her here and she's going down for a nap now because she hasn't napped at all. She's fallen asleep twice in the car, but we've been in and out of the car so much all day that she hasn't been able to like lie down and actually take a good nap so <sighs> she's tired she's just having a hard time going down I put a fan on her and everything it's you know she's gonna be comfortable with the fan but she gets in this thing that if I wait too long to put her down for a nap she's almost over tired so then she like can't or doesn't want to take a nap so that's kind of what we we're in she was crying for a little while I gave her her bottle and she took that for a minute but then started crying again so I think she's down now though or drinking her bottle because she's quiet but I know for sure she's tired so I'm not just like oh like you need to take a nap but no <laughs> she usually takes a nap around 10 so we're two hours late on that one but unfortunately I was gonna start on the pendant now I will today but uh, all the clay that I had that I was gonna use is all dried up and too hard to work so I gotta wait till my husband gets home so we can run out and grab some clay to be honest it'll take me like a half hour to make so I'm not worried about it but um, I did ask my cousin if I can hitch a ride with him and he said for sure so we're going to Comic-Con 
I'm excited. And I, ow, that's really hot. Made myself some beefaroni. It's delicious. Oops, that is a mess, so I will take that out. Is that? Huh, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. Mother-in-laws, but I made a whole bunch of little slips to hand out to you guys at Boston Comic Con. Just if you ever wanna, you know, check out my channel and see pictures that I take with you, just hand them out, because I don't have business cards. I know it's a little bit like, bleh, but whatever. Hi, Sparky. <laughs> Hi, Sparky. <laughs> Ella, are we going swim? Are you petting the doggy? Hi, Sparky. <laughs> are we going swimming? Are we swimming? On my way back to the party store, it's like 7.30. Don't worry, that's a bathing suit. <laughs> um, it's about 7.36 at night. Um, I gotta run to the party store. I gotta get myself some fake blood for sure. And if they have scar wax, and I'll use that as well. Um, I also have to run to Walmart and get the clay because I totally forgot that I haven't even made the necklace yet. Like, I'm so whatever but that's okay the baby's going to bed soon anyways and TJ is going out with a couple of his guy friends so I'll be home doing nothing anyway so it'll keep me busy I actually was almost not able to go tomorrow because I checked the tickets yesterday and you know Saturday um what like it's a one-time pass one day pass um was still available and then I was messaging someone and they said that they sold out for Saturday so I was like oh my god like that's the only day I can go so I ended up having to buy the three-day pass so literally I paid triple the amount that I would have but whatever at least I still get to go so I'm gonna print out my ticket tomorrow morning like after she's picked up immediately go and print out my ticket and then head off to meet up with my cousins. I'm excited though. I cannot find the bow anywhere that I used a couple years ago, which does really suck because I feel like it tied the whole outfit together. But what are you going to do? I still think it's going to be a great costume, but I like tore apart my basement, tore apart everywhere I could think of. Went to my mom's to see if it was there. I just, I can't find the thing. And I know I've seen it before. It's just one of those things where it's like, you saw it but it moved so many times that you just don't know where it is anymore. So, um, I'll definitely, before I end the vlog, show you like the entire outfit, like all the pieces to it. Tomorrow though, obviously you'll see it on. Tomorrow I'm so excited to vlog. Gotta make sure all my cameras are charged and extra cameras charged. And, all that stuff. I'm so excited that I get to go. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm probably just going to keep this super short because I still want to add in that one piece showing you the entire outfit. But I'm just so, 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 so excited for tomorrow. Really quick side note. I really apologize because I know I'm telling you right now that my voice is going to be super groggy in the Laura Croft get ready with me because I have to wake up so early to do it. So I'm definitely, no doubt about it, gonna have um morning voice but there's really nothing I can do about that I'm gonna I think I'm gonna wake up around 6 because she gets up around 7 30 so that gives me a solid hour to try to get ready and stuff so I'm so excited I just got so nervous though when he said that the tickets were sold out which, which they are he was not lying at all. Um, it's just I had to buy all three days. Like, those aren't sold out. So, what are you going to do? Buy your tickets earlier, I guess. <laughs> um, but, like, it's, can you not, like, creep up in my video? Do things. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to save some space for earlier or later today to show you the whole outfit. But it's time to get started on her pendant. So I just use air dry clay. I just think it works perfectly fine. And you can get this at Walmart. So all the tabs lift up like this. I don't remember if it has a safety seal or not. I'm going to assume. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. So it looks like this. So it's obviously soft and moldable. Moldable. So what I'm going to do is look at a reference picture of her necklace and create a size that I think would work. Have a piece of clay about the size I want it. I just kind of flattened it down a bit and just made it a little more circular. So I all I did was Google search her necklace. So a bunch of searches came up. So I'm gonna try to cut out 
a design similar to that. Once you have something that kind of resembles a piece of poop, <laughs> and then you're pretty much good. That's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. I've been working on this for quite a while, trying to smooth it all down, and it's just not happening. So next I am going to paint it. Her necklace is kind of like, it looks like it has a blue undertone, so I'm gonna use this blue, which is, it's just acrylic paint, nothing special. And uh, then I'm gonna top it off with this green, so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that. By the way, I'm using this kind of brush, like the spongy brush, because I feel like it just gives it a little bit more texture. Let me move in so you can kind of see. So I'm just kind of stippling it on. I don't care if my desk it gets a little paint on it. I can always get it off later, but I'm going to make sure I get all the nooks and crannies and even the sides. But I'm going to paint both the blue and the green like this just to give it a little more dimension and a more realistic look. I love the way that's looking right now. So lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of, um, this is either black or brown. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. It kind of looks black, but a little bit brown. I don't know, but I'm going to put just a teeny bit of this on my necklace. I'm going to stick them on a plate to harden overnight. For the part of the necklace that goes around your neck, I'm using the cording. Uh, it's a suede cording, so it kind of feels a little bit like felt, um, but I'm going to give this a try. Cut two pieces. One, the first piece I'm going to measure around my neck like a choker um, and leave a like cut a little bit longer so I have room to tie it and do the same for the bottom, but the bottom half can loop a little bit.